Someone uh, once asked, why would you get a picture tattooed on your body that you'd be too embarrassed to hang on your wall? Well, I'm no oil painting, but I tend to agree. Tats, we're told, are undergoing a resurgence among both Australian blokes and women. But there's a curious twist. Business in laser removal of tats is also booming. Here's Danny Eisdale. <laughs> One, two, three. To tattoo or not to tattoo? Kian For Real has been answering that question for 18 years with his needle. Have you ever had somebody sort of change their mind halfway through? No. They just let you do your thing? Yeah. And John, do you usually cry when you get this done? It's just because the cameras are here. <laughs> <laughs> Put on a brave face at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> are more and more people getting tattoos in Australia or fewer? More, definitely more. More a discerning clientele. I mean, people that know what they want. Jai Rose researched what he wanted for years, making him a perfect customer for Kian, one of Sydney's most sought-after artists, an expert in original designs who doesn't do celebrity trend tattoos. They're the most seen, the most photographed, perhaps, but most of my uh, contact with them is they're really crap tattoos because celebrities don't have patience. They want to they go into a shop, they want to get tattooed now. You don't see a lot of celebrities with good tattoos. I, I can't really name any. Even those who copy quality can still regret their choice. You see people that, you know, I tattooed when they were 20 and they copied, you know, a rock star's tattoo and then they're 30 and they've got a kid and they look a bit silly. You know, I mean, it dates them. It's those people who are increasingly ending up here. In laser removal clinics like Robert Pham's. Um, now we, we get anything from at least 15, 20 inquiries a week um, and probably five new clients a week. He's never been busier. I would say in the last probably five years and, and now it's being a lot more well known that the technology is um, great, second to none. Still, tattoos are designed to last forever. If it hurts to get them on, it hurts more to take them off. And it's much more expensive. Alicia Taylor is learning the hard way. I had another tattoo underneath. I just wanted the other tattoo gone as well. So I had the smart idea of getting it covered over. But it was just terrible work. So I hated it the minute it, I got it. And so far, it's taken more than a year and a dozen treatments to slowly, painfully get rid of it. Through the years of experience, I can feel the pain with some of these clients that come through. It can be quite painful, however, it's only on a select few. Now, even some tattooists offer a laser removal service. Kian only uses it for fading tired tattoos just enough to draw new ones over the top. So I would never tattoo somebody who thought they wanted to get it lasered off later. I put so much effort into what I do that, you know, I'm not going to do that so that, no, I'm, I'm not sure I might get it lasered off in a year. He will see Jai come back though, not for the laser, but for another tattoo. You're happy with it now and you're going to oh, be happy with it forever. Definitely, definitely. Very happy with it.